There's all types of fish in this pond that we don't even know about. Oh. Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Hi babies, how you guys doing? Crystal clear guys. It is about high noon as you can see the sun is shining down on my beautiful fish. You can see them crystal clear guys. They're all hiding underneath that bush. It's always smart to have shade for your fish, especially if they're getting direct sunlight like mine. We have some construction going on, but it looks like everyone's ready for the transfer. How you guys doing? Huh? What's up? There's a commandos right there, a mini moo right in the middle of them. Look how big, oh my God. How big do those mollies get? So Dude, there's a molly in here that is literally, please go on the sunlight. That thing, it has to be like four inches. Anyway, we're not gonna concentrate on the really little fish today. We're just trying to get the slightly larger fish. So, all of those big boys and possibly some of the moos. So that's what we need to do today. Oh yeah, don't forget. These guys over here. What's up? Uh, what's a shame is I think these guys are actually breeding down here and they're not gonna be successful because this is all gonna be filled in very, very soon. It's almost time to scoop you guys up and place you into, yes, please, Joey, can you help me? This is a temporary pond that we have built for our fish. So all of our fish are gonna stay in here for the time being until I'm able to get all of this dirt built into this bottom pond as you can see down here these guys are really happy and healthy so I need to build something big enough to house all of these fish with some shade with some direct sunlight and without them all getting eaten or killed we have our mega net ultra mega net guys if you know this is what I used to scoop up Paku snakeheads I've even caught some snakeheads on this channel if you check other videos in the net by itself. It's a crazy amazing tool that I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. We also have this Extendomatic net that I've had for a while. It does the job. It has a little bit smaller holes, but as you can see, it's perfect. It also extends as does this net. I think I'm gonna use this one first because I have some goldfish hiding towards the top. Come on over here, guys. So we're not gonna focus on the Midas right now, but check it out down here. See those two goldfish? I'm gonna try to get this net under them and scoop them up without them knowing. They're at the perfect place for me to get both of these goldfish. See if I can get lucky. Come on, get in here. Ah, ah, oh, one of them already escaped. I think I got one though, got one. Oh, got one. <laughs> guys, this is harder than it looks. Look at the size of this guy. Beautiful fish. As you can see, those fish have been chomping on its scales. That's not good. We might need to make a separate pond for just the goldfish because Jeez, this guy's been destroyed. All right, one down, one down. It's the same water temperature, guys, just so you know. Actually, that the scales and stuff might have just gotten removed from the net. So we're gonna be ultra careful with the next one. Time to get ultra megalin net. We were able to scoop up that first goldfish, but the other one just took off. So we really need to get these Midas out. That's the biggest concern I have. I think I'll be able to get the goldfish. I could always set like a trap in there for a while. All the fish would get in and I could just lift it right out. But the Midas, obviously there's no trap big enough for those guys. So let's get in here. Check them out, get low. Oh yeah, right here, stop. We're ready. I'm gonna try to get as many as I can. Don't forget, oh there's the goldfish too. Come on, I'm trying to just like herd them. Herd them all over. We got the Oscar. We got one of the Midas. Oh gonna leave the net kind of here kind of like course them into it okay I got a lot of the fish I'm gonna just go ahead and lift oh my gosh what are we getting here guys there's all types of fish in this pond that we don't even know about oh, oh my god come on let's check them out let's see what we have in here oh look look what is this dude <laughs> these freaking cichlids dude we're gonna save him, we're gonna keep him for bait. I told you, there's these cichlids, they always escape Shamu and the red tails and they escape all the time into this pond. I have not put any of these inside this pond. These are all escapees from Shamu. Check out our haul, guys. Look at the Oscar, how beautiful this is. I just wanted to see if there's any other weird fish in here. Oh, oh my God, we got one of the Cloud Clan. We got so lucky. Dude, here's the Cloud Clan. Okay, look how big the Cloud Clan member has gotten. We're gonna have to throw him in our tank. Uh oh, come on, come on. The cichlids will do fine. Oh my gosh. Cloud clan. Oh my god. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go hit the cloud fan. Okay, we got one of the cloud fan. Come on. I can't believe we got one of these guys. You okay, buddy? I hope that guy's okay. He was kind of squished by the other fish. He's so big, dude. I know, he's so huge. Guys, don't forget, these cichlids can stay out of the water for a while. They're really hardy fish. Honestly, if I left them on the ground for like an hour, they would probably still be okay. But look at this Oscar. Beautiful fish. Thank you so much. Oh God, <laughs> look at this side of him. Guys, if you didn't know already, when Oscar get this big, they have really big teeth. Come on, look at the teeth on this guy. Look at the teeth, like piranhas, right? Oscars are really slimy, and they're really hard to deal with. Come on. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you okay? All right, we got him. You good? <laughs> One down. These guys are a little bit more difficult to deal with than I thought. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the whole net. Actually, you know what? I think I can do this one by one. Check it out. I want you to name all these fish guys. So here's one with black on the ends. Come on, follow me. One going in. Oh! oh. <laughs> one with black on the ends, guys. Remember, the black on the ends of that one. If I had to take a guess, I would say this is Cheeto. Look at the colors on that thing. That's insane, right? Jeez Louise. That peach. Okay, we're moving. Hold them nice and low to the ground because they will slip out of your hand. This is the same water, guys, as you already know. Good, buddy. Hey, you doing okay, buddy? I was worried about him. He got squished. But hopefully he does okay. He's gotten a lot bigger. It's crazy, like twice as big. He looks like a Nemo because he's a little bit smaller. He's not hurt in any way like Nemo was. You know, Nemo had that one messed up fin. Look at the fins. Oh, look, I try to touch him. He doesn't let me. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Oh, okay? I almost ate it. We almost named this guy Unlucky. <laughs> all right, that guy's in here. Swim around, my friend, like you were never bothered at all. <laughs> Last but not least, I think this is one of the most beautiful fish we own. Look at the knot on that guy's head. Is she pregnant? No, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. If, I think this is a dude. But anyway, look at that guy. Huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh getting pissed. Come on, let me tickle you for a second. There you go. Happy to get all the algae and stuff off you, huh? <laughs> I love these fish, man. They're so beautiful and they're so hardy. You know, koi are pretty hardy too, uh, but these goldfish and stuff, they're okay as long as they're with other goldfish, but with cichlids, you know, they have teeth and all types of stuff. We're probably gonna have to separate the goldfish from the cichlids pretty soon. There are so many fish. There's a lot underneath here. Oh man, that's gonna be tough. Okay, I got one. For sure, I got one. There's a, there's like a ledge that they built underneath this thing. I think I'm just gonna have to take what I got right now. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're all underneath here. There's a ledge or something. Something weird. Oh, I just got them. I got, I got some of them. I got them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta be gentle because last time we saw one of those cloud pen numbers. What the heck is that? Another freaking. Oh my gosh, dude, how many of these things have been plaguing our fish in there? This is ridiculous. This is so crazy. Okay, we have one of the commandos. We gotta make sure we get the smaller fish out first. Oh no. Oh, gentle. Commando. Oh. Cloud clan. Nope. You're good. Oh. Alright, good. So we have a commando. Gotta make sure he's safe. As you can see, it's starting to get murky in there. That's what we're gonna be battling. So chunky. He is chunky. It's crazy how big he's gotten, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> They've all doubled in size. All of my fish, because they're in that circulating water, a natural habitat, but they're getting all crazy types of food, fresh food every single day. All these fish are just exploding in growth. Hey, look at the colors on this one. Just blood orange. Oh, 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 relax, relax. We don't want to stress these fish out too, too much. But I don't want to get all the algae and stuff that's stuck on the net over here into that temporary pond. Look at this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn him around. Oh, the finesse on the turn. Yeah, I know, right? Nice and smooth. Look at that. Guys, name this guy. Sheesh, that might be cheetah right there. I don't know. Right red. The Cloud Clan member is 100% okay. Oh! <laughs> yeah, look at the Cloud Clan. That guy's good. 
the way he's acting, completely aware, moving both fins, that guy's good. Look at it, look at the tail. Look at the split tail here. <laughs> okay, let's get him in here. Split tail. Boom. Perfect. Get that guy in. Too stressed. Oh, that's, this is actually a, this is actually a female, I think. She looks like she's pregnant. Yep, I think that's a female. Chunky I'm monkey. not, I'm not sure. We just fed him yesterday. But this guy is a chunky monkey. Couldn't say it better myself, Joey. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's a banana, dude. <laughs> yeah, that is a fat banana. We should just name that one Fat Banana. You're good? All right, banana girl. <laughs> Guys, they're all cuddling in this corner. The Cloud Clan member is over there. They don't seem to mind me right here. They just want to sunbathe, it looks like. The fresh water is coming in through here. Um, I I'm just kind of confused as to why they're over here and not in the shade. As you can see, a couple of them are in the shade over there, but... These guys are just glowing over here. It's really cool. Like, I did put a couple of weird things, but I, I never really see them. So we might get to see all the fish that we've ever put in that bottom pond soon. We have a lot of fish schooling up underneath this ledge. It looks like, it looks like they created a ledge under here that they're all hiding underneath. It's pretty crazy. Oh man, look at this guy. That's a, oh, I just want to get her so bad. Please. Oh, she's so fast. I'm using the smaller net right now. What is that? What is that? What is that? I can't even tell what that is. Here's the big, here's the last Midas. Oh, got him. Oh, 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 oh. scoop! Yeah. Wow, look at the colors on this one. Look at the spots on this thing. That is crazy. Oh. All right, so that's the last Midas. So we have all the big fish. And what I'm doing to calm these fish down as I'm moving them from the net to here is I'm putting some pressure on their gills so they can't really move too much. That like, that like kind of lets them relax a little bit for some reason. I'm not sure why, but look at them all cuddling. That is crazy. They all are just in the corner, except for the goldfish. That looks cool. Having the big fish in here does make me feel at ease because once I fill this bad boy up, uh, none of these fish are going to be a casualty. They'll all be safe in this pond. <laughs> He's right here. Where is he? Right by me. Oh, I see him. Oh, these plants. I'm going to have to get rid of the plants. Got him. Guys, it helps to have a net this size. It really does. Come here, buddy. Check it out. Check out the size of this goldfish. And like I said, yeah, the cichlids have been attacking him. He's missing some scales from the top. We're definitely going to have to give these goldfish a different home. They're too slow. With this long fan tails, they're just too slow. They can't get away from the cichlids, so that's what we're going to have to do. In you go, buddy. For now. Just for now. You'll be okay soon. Beautiful fish are just amazing. Look at the colors on those guys. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> I see the cloud fan. Might get lucky. As you can see guys, there's a couple goldfish in there. We have actually a lot more than a couple. It's going to be really difficult to get them out. I want to make sure I can save as many of my fish as possible while doing this and making this ultra big pond. This is going to be quite a project, but it's really going to be worth it in the end. We're going to have a much larger pool pond over here. We're going to have a much larger side pond with goldfish and maybe a, just a koi pond. I'm not really sure that's going to go right over here, guys, as I said in the last video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We have quite a lot to do, guys, and catch them all. Catch them all. Come on.